What is up, gang? Welcome back. Today we are showcasing our brand new aftermarket reel knobs by DRT and Working Class Zero. And uh, don't blame me if these do not work on your reels. I'll explain more in a second. So first and foremost, let me take you guys back, um, what, a month or two, maybe not even that, when we first purchased our DRT varial handles for our Shimano Tranks. These are aftermarket handles that you can purchase for uh, quite a few reels. There's a couple different size nuts that fit a lot of popular Daiwa and Shimano reels for sure, as well as, of course, other companies, but uh, these are the ones that we were looking into. So we grabbed these handles that come stock with these black flat knobs here. And there's a lot of different knobs you can get to go with your DRT varial handles, but these ones are the Working Class Zero collaboration. You guys know Working Class Zero. If you watched our channel, you've probably seen us throw a lot of Working Class Zero baits, such as the Citizen 6. That kind of uh, piqued our interest into the company and to the guy who makes all of these baits by hand, and then into his collaboration with DRT on some custom knobs for these varial handles. So when we were scouting out the varial handles, and we like the 110 millimeter size, there's also a larger 117, and there's some smaller sizes, but we wanted something a little bit beefier to throw a lot of larger swim baits and stuff of that nature. So we got the essentially, I believe, second to largest size there. So you just got a little bit more cranking power on those big fish that you can be catching with the swim baits and these flat knobs there is actually a benefit to and then we're going to showcase kind of like the install here in just a moment and talk a little bit more about them of course and the colors that we purchased but with these flat knobs you can get a great grip on them this is uh, the tranks 201 by the way link down in the description this is my wife's the 200 so this is right handed this is left handed just yesterday, they both had the black stock knobs on there, but today I put the white ones on uh, my tranks and I'm going to put the green ones on Devon's before she gets home, hopefully. She's gonna be home soon. So there's only a few places you can find these and I got this set for her for Christmas and about the time I found them, because they are very hard to come by and they're quite expensive, I paid $80 from a private seller in Japan to get this set right here and then I stumbled across the white and purples on another website and I said maybe Santa Claus would just get us three sets of these. I just want to make sure we got a hold of these things because they're pretty hard to acquire. Speaking of some bigger baits, we kind of bought these setups to throw. I mean, we've got the six inch Citizen right there that I just talked about. We've also got the Buka Bull Shad. We've got a new uh, TK, nice little tiny clash we haven't even thrown yet. So subscribe if you're not already and you want to see us throw around some big baits to go along with the regular traditional tackle. Anyways, there's not much to the install on these knobs, but you do have to locate your star key tool or your star tool that comes with your varial handles. So if you purchase them separately, try not to lose them because you don't get another star key with the knobs when you purchase them. So if you lose this, you're in trouble. Not only for the knobs though, also for the installation or removal of the handles themselves and think about resale, maybe you wanna sell these independently, blah, blah, blah. What I found is the easiest way to install these knobs in case you're looking for these. And by the way, I had mentioned, uh, don't blame me if they don't work on your reel. The thing is these knobs are designed specifically for every one of these here, the DRT varial handles. So there you go, you see that space right there? That will absolutely not work with your factory handles. It will only work with the DRTs. So don't go buying these thinking they're gonna work with your stock Shimano's or Daiwa's or Lou's or anybody's brand you use, right? Lou's clues. We're gonna set Devin up with the greens, but let's unbox these for the first time. This is cool. Dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and they're kinda like locked in place in the plastic. Very nice. Man, we're gonna get these things dirty quick. Look at that, dude, that's sick. We are going to be taking off the stock black ones from her reel. It seemed to work a little bit better for me earlier today on mine when I almost applied a little upwards pressure, or like pressure away from the handle to the knob. So I'm kind of giving a little pressure to the top. Where is it at? There it goes. And one of the main reasons we got these here specifically is not for the fact that they're going to catch you more fish, right? We got this a lot for the aesthetics, the viewing pleasure, just the fun we have with our hobby of fishing while we're out. Uh, for things like pictures on our Instagram and just video, almost that aftermarket customized feel, you know what I mean? Like you're putting wheels on your car. So I just got these wheels taken off. And by the way, you can also buy different color wheels. These are called the wheels right here. 
You can buy like green ones and blue ones, I think, maybe red, maybe white. And so these are black with that white trim, which actually looks fantastic with the white knobs. And it's gonna look great with the greens as well, because basically it's just gonna look all black and green, which goes good with the handles and it, it flows well with the tranks. But all I do is I unscrewed that, set it aside, and then you just slide these off. And they're on there pretty firm. So there you go, off with the black and on for the first time with the green. This is gonna look so sick. I mean, it, it's a snug fit. And I don't even think I'm gonna try and hand tighten it. I'm just gonna go back at it with the star tool right off the bat. It is as simple as one, two, three. I'm starting to get flush and I'm starting to feel some good resistance so I'm not gonna apply too much pressure. Don't wanna strip anything. And there you go. How's that right there? That's half and half. I'm almost jealous. I'm gonna wanna throw the greens every once in a while <laughs> and she's probably gonna wanna throw the whites. I prefer left-handed retrieve, kinda like right-handed hook sets with the rod and then she prefers the uh, right-handed retrieve and I guess the left-handed hook sets. So that is why we've got a right and a left-handed setup. To go along with the aesthetics though is the fact that you get a better grip on these handles and because they are a little bit larger, a little bit longer than the stock handles on these tranks and other reels, you actually do get a little bit more leverage on those fish when you're cranking them in and you can get a little bit more almost like torque out of it. So they are truly purpose built, but again, we kind of got them just for the uh, aftermarket look and feel. They're also very just unique and exclusive, hard to acquire. And so not many folks are running around with them and so it just kind of almost adds to the appeal, right? You could definitely spend $80 on something a lot more useless if we're really talking about spending money which we're pretty good at. Knob number two. And it doesn't actually matter like how you put these on there because they, they spin. So like you're not supposed to put these on there any specific way. They just kind of, they rotate. All right, I haven't tightened it up yet, but how sick is that? Don't mind the bird's nest. I got that earlier, but look at that, dudes. Should we do like a two-tone purple and green? Just to check this out. We're gonna even unbox the purples. These are gonna, this would go so good with this rod too. This is a Mojo Bass rod with some purple accents and it almost has like a, purple shimmer in the sunlight. Oh, I shouldn't say purple. They're navy, they're navy blue. A little purple. They're definitely a different shade than the uh, the black. A little something something for you. So how would it look if we did something crazy like this? <laughs> I gotta put this on Instagram. Give us a follow, almost at 100,000 followers, y'all. Appreciate all the support. Back with the green. I saw a picture online of an SLX XT, which we just did a giveaway of over on our Instagram page with the navies on it and the black handles, and it was so sick. So I might consider these navies with an SLX XT. I just wanted some options for us, so uh, luckily Santa Claus delivered. Instead of those stock knobs that are much smaller and maybe you're kind of like fiddling around with it and you get a fish on and you're reeling it fast and you might lose yourself and kind of like almost slip off the handle, these guys, you can really get a firm grip on. Check that out with almost like your index finger and your thumb, and you're really locked and loaded, and you have a lot more cranking power with that being said. So, also it just kind of feels good if you're slow rolling big swim baits too. I really like these flat knobs. There's a lot of different knobs, again, on the market for DRTs, and a lot of people like those kind of fat knobs, they call them, or the rounded ones, but these ones are just so sick, and that's why we kind of, uh, and that's why, of course, we chose the flat knobs. Otherwise, I'd be showing you the other options. Now, if you would like to see some of the other options on the market, let me know which ones are your favorite down in the comments, and maybe we'll pick some of those up and showcase them for you guys, because again, they're kind of hard to find, and in order to even install them, you'd have to have the handles to begin with. So we can take that out of the equation and maybe showcase for a lot of y'all which ones you might like to see. They probably will discolor, but we're gonna keep them cleaned up as best we can. I think there's like five total colors, potentially even six, but these were our top picks, and of course they are pretty expensive. I paid uh, about $200 from the two separate buyers to get the navies, the whites, and the greens. So consider that on top of the fact that the DRT handles are also $200 a piece. So it almost puts this setup, just the reel, skip the rod, but it puts the reel setup basically at $200, $400, $480, so, so it's almost a $500 reel setup that Devin has, and then the white ones were a little bit cheaper. I found them on another website uh, along with the navies. They're about 50 bucks. I don't want you thinking you guys gotta have this stuff. It is absolutely not a necessity. This is just some stuff we, over our years of fishing, have decided we wanted to just enjoy getting out there and uh, cranking on these fish that much more. This is truly a dream setup. When we first started fishing, 
50 bucks for these knobs and 80 for these knobs. I mean, both of those are more expensive than our entire first combos in fishing. I remember when we first got started, I thought it was ridiculous to pay over like $20 for a rod and reel because you would go to Walmart and you'd buy a rod and reel for like 20 bucks. What I'm getting at is we would have considered it absurd to spend this much money on a single reel, but now this is what we do on a day-to-day basis. It's actually how I earn a living is making videos and a lot of the income comes from doing things like reviews and showcasing products. When you're throwing something that is completely customized to your liking and you get a little bit of joy out of that, I think it's definitely worth the price tag. We're gonna have a lot of fun throwing these reels right here. So get excited, y'all, because I think one of the next few videos is gonna be the TK's debut. We're gonna break out the DRT Tiny Clash and see if we can't catch some fish on this guy right here. But we now have the handles installed and are ready to rip the lips on some lunkers. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out, guys. Oh.